Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Cupquick, and today we're gonna be checking out an app game called Device 6. This is available on iOS and it is $3.99 and it got amazing reviews. So I really wanted to check it out. This game is only playable with sound switched on. Before playing, please read the software license agreement and the device for manual for important information about electromagnetic magnetic waves. Well, I'm not doing any of that. We have identified you as player 249. I don't know if I should... I think this one you do have to rotate. Device. Six. All right. Chapter one, awakening. All right, here we go. Please swipe. Start simulation. Okay. Radio. Northwest guest room. She had never played with dolls, yet it was the first thing on Anna's mind when she came to. A rather unpleasant doll, too. A strange thing to have one on one's mind. She got to her feet slowly. Thousands of nails seemed to pierce her head, and her right ear itched terribly. Where in the world am I? This was certainly not the room she rented from Mrs. Muscat. For one thing, this room was cylindrical. A tower? I don't know how... Oh, I don't know any people living in towers. Nor do I care, to Anna mumbled to herself, and gritted her teeth. Through a small window, she could tell that she was rather high up. As she tried to focus, she could make out a lighthouse in the distance. Anna wasn't in the city. That was much clearer. Or that much was clear. I need a smoke. She reached inside her coat pocket. Her cigarette package was empty. This was turning out to be a very bad morning indeed. Won't somebody turn off that awful music? A painting of an orange hung on the wall. Anna felt a sharp pain in her head. She closed her eyes and took a deep breath. When she opened her eyes, she noticed the number 2001 right in the center of the orange, painted in a slightly different hue. Anna shook her head. As she opened the only door in the room, she saw a steep and narrow staircase. Carefully, she began to descend it. Her balance seemed to be slightly disoriented. The steps appeared to be floating. Too many cocktails? Anna tried hard to remember. The doll flashed before her eyes again. As she got to the bathroom of the stairs, a door blocked her way. She peeked through the keyhole, a long corridor. There was nobody there. No, something else. Anna opened the door and lightly slipped onto the to an exposed carpet. Am I supposed to? Oh, I just got it. That's the rotate symbol. Um, that stretched out so far as she could see. There were numerous oil painting. Oh wait, its intense color shone in an almost unnatural way. There were numerous oil paintings, etchings, lithographs, and other works of arts clustered all over the wall. It was completely over-decorated. A mansion or a castle, perhaps? Anna walked straight ahead and for a moment thought of taking her boots off so that she would not make any unnecessary noise. Don't be silly, Anna. She decided against it and instead announced her presence with a hello. But her words echoed emptily through the corridor. Third floor nursery, a child's room? Anna peeked inside a room to her right. There didn't appear to be anyone in there. Loads of toys were scattered all over the floor and in the corner stood a tiny four poster bed. She looked out the window and even though her slight her sight was still somewhat blurry. She could make out the ocean and a castle and a bridge connecting to it, it to the building she was in. A spoiled child's room. As majestic as the view was, Anna felt slightly offended by it. She had not asked for it. She looked around the room. Something was wrong. The toys were in a mess on the floor, but not a real mess, an arranged mess. A piece on the wall depicted a rather stern looking elephant wearing a <laughs> he looks sad wearing a bowler hat 
caught her attention. How awfully tacky. What is that? It's like Saturn back there. Uh, Anna knocked on the second door to the right. Let me put this volume up. No answer. She opened it and entered a dim and som somber room. The windows were covered by speckled green drapes and that had been nailed to the wall. That had been nailed to the wall. Her eyes adjusted to the darkness and she could tell that the room was empty, save for a gar gargantuan cabinet that stood against the wall. A curious lock-like device was attached to its door and she could feel a slight draft coming from within it. Something about it made Anna feel uneasy. Uh-oh. Oh, it's moving! It's actually a video! Do you guys see that? Okay, so she went back into the corridor. The headache was fading and her balance was almost recovered. Why am I here? Oh, but I'm totally reading this wrong. But she still had no recollection of how she arrived there. Why am I here? Anna searched her mind. She had left the office at 5 o'clock bought some vegetables at the market and then she had gone straight home anna came to a door with a sign do not disturb we'll see about that out of spite she knocked out on it loudly silence she knocked again even louder nothing in the center of the room was a big desk with a multitude of notes and sketches and some kind of computer the sketches seemed to have been created in a fairly fervent state, and many of them were half finished or crumpled up. There were several old letters from someone called Corbinian Broodman. A rather poorly made portrait of Leonardo da Vinci hung on the wall, uh, on one of the walls, and next to Anna noticed, next to it, Anna noticed a photo photograph of Thomas Edison. He had a dart firmly placed between his eyes. She browsed the bookshelf. It was full of books about chemistry, mechanics, physical and mathematics, or physics and mathematics. They were all out of date, just like every else, everything else in the room. A calendar on the wall claimed that it was September 1946. A museum, then. That would explain a lot. She left the room. Across the hall, Anna noticed a stairway that led down to what she assumed to be the ground floor. Before heading down, she decided to inspect a peculiar sound that appeared to come from around the corner of the corridor. There was a door slightly ajar to her right. Anna pushed it gently, but it was stuck. A more forceful push amounted to nothing. So she leaned forward and peeked in. A tape recorder had been placed on a modest desk in an otherwise Good empty morning. room. That's in odd. The room of the Renaissance man. Was this some kind of prank? Anna enjoyed a laugh as much as anyone, but this seemed way too elaborate for any of her friends to pull off. She continued down to the end of the corridor, a dead end. Anna was facing a huge steel door uh, that looked deciding decidedly out of place and more fitted to some kind of bomb shelter. In front of it was a screen apparently displaying the output of a security camera with no handle. She pushed herself against the door even though she knew it would not budge. She took a few steps back and turned around. Anna glanced at the painting as she walked down the hallway. There was clearly a great deal of money spent on this place, and by the look of the things, by an eccentric. Could Mr. Cargill be in on it? Uh, she was thirsty and was working up quite an appetite. Um, Anna was not one to, be, to miss breakfast and thought her temper was normally quite even. Two things affected it more than she cared to admit. A missed breakfast and a shortage of smokes. Some eggs and some toast, and then I'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, now we turn it. Anna made her way back around the corner, back to the stairway, and... Have to turn this. Walked downstairs.
Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Anna heard voices coming from what she instantly felt would be the dining hall. The room was crowded with people. No one acknowledged her presence. Anna shook her head as though to shake off the dizziness and sharpen her vision. Pardon me, but could you tell me the name of this place? She asked the smiling old lady. The old lady kept on smiling. A mannequin, in fact. They were all mannequins. Mannequins having tea. A chill ran down Anna's spine. She backed away from the old lady and sent a dashing doll dressed up to look like Rudolph Valentine to the floor along with his cup of tea. He lost a couple fingers in the fall. Anna spun around and scanned the room for moments. Her instincts told her to run. It seemed a bit silly, but she sensed danger. Anna rushed out to the entrance, leaving oh, just got an alert. Leaving the mindless chatter or a record thereof behind. What is this? She pulled the handle. Locked. Okay, so this door is... Locked. So I can't go this way. Let's see. Let's go look for some clues. Good morning. This is a puzzle. In the room of the Renaissance Now I have to man, find... A simple math problem. The room of the Renaissance man. A framed number. Okay. In the room where red meets yellow in a frame. Plus, red meets yellow in the frame. Number between hope and love. Huh. Okay, so I can look through the different cameras, different channels. I don't know what channel he's on, though. Okay, let's listen to this one again. Plus, another framed number between hope another and Another framed number. Plus, the channel I am on. So we gotta solve a math problem. So that's going to be the, the solution. I don't know what channel he's on. A simple math problem. Um, is there a way that I could check to see what channel he's on? So let's go back. Is this channel 100? Oh look, we're, we're trying to solve something right here. We're changing the numbers! Right here. Okay, this is where we put this is where we put the uh the thing to solve the puzzle. So I have to find the room of the Renaissance man. Okay, I found the frame. So here is one of the numbers that I have to find. It's a framed number between hope and what was it? Hope and lies. So a framed number between hope and lies. Here's lies, 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 F, it says five. It says five guys. Not five guys like the burger, but the number is five. F-I-V-E, five. Okay, so that number is five. So I'm gonna write this down. And now I have to find the number frames between yellow and red. How far back am I supposed to go? Okay, we can't go that far back. Ah, okay, this is so cool. A framed number between yellow and red. So, I don't, we gotta look out for yellow and red. And I have, I have, I have no idea what channel he's on though. Between hope and lies. Plus, What channel is he on? The channel, this one. So 56. That's the channel that he's on, right? 56. So, okay, let's write down channel 56. And now all we need to find is a frame number. Yellow let's see. Plus. The room where red meets yellow in a frame. So red and yellow make orange. So maybe it's orange I want to say it's this orange room but I don't see a frame I still don't know I I know it has to do with orange and it could be 
the painting of an orange hung on a wall. Anna felt a sharp pain in her neck. Okay, so when she opened her eyes, she noticed the number 2001 right in the center of the orange. So it's between yellow and red, which is orange. So the number is 2001. So if we go ahead and add all of those up, we have... 2062. So now let's go all the way back to, was it this guy? Yeah, 2062. So the first one is a two, this one is a zero, and 62. Oh, we did it! It's going! It's going! Here it goes. We gotta turn with it. Stay with it. I don't know if it's gonna work. Hopefully it works. Where are you turning? Where are you going? Where are you? Oh, I can't turn with it. Come back. Here we go. Oh, okay, so we reached the signal. So now, I push it. Ellie? E L L E. R. R. <clears throat> Ellie. Okay, wait a minute. Do I have to like do this all the way through? <clears throat> okay. It just continues itself, but I feel like. This might, since there's only two, I feel like this has to do with that machine that I was pressing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write down the pattern. So, okay, let's head back and find that machine. Let's see, is it 2006? And I think it might be further. Here it is, okay. <clears throat> so let's just say, I have it all written down. R could be right. So let's just do it as if L E is L and R, R is right. So let's see, left, right, right, left, 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 right, left, right, left. Oh, it worked! What the heck? We did it! Ooh. What's going on now? We did something. Did we solve the puzzle? Please take time to answer a few questions that will help us provide a better experience for you. Okay. Okay. I can do that. Did you find the level of interactivity in the previous chapter satisfying? Yes. Which of these shapes do you think describes the previous trap chapter? We'll do a circle. What year was the calendar in the study displaying? 1946. What was the name of Anna's landlord? Cargill. Or was it Muscat? Dang it, I forgot. Which of the following colors do you think describes Anna's personality? Orange. Try to picture someone looking at you from a window. Who is it? A stranger. Stranger. Scary, it's turning dark. Thank you, player 249. You have earned 100 points! Woohoo! Awesome! So that was pretty, um, pretty fun. Pretty challenging. You have to pay attention to everything. So I think that was the first chapter. And I think we're loading up chapter two. The story of the three bears. Chapter two. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. But um, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want me to continue? This is very heavy dialogue. Uh, so it's a lot of reading. Uh, but I feel like it's going to start getting a lot more interesting and a lot harder 
Let me know if you guys like this. If you guys would like to see chapter two, I could definitely try that out. I'll hold off until I see your comments. But um, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a, t a different type of video. It's not like really action packed, but it's very interesting and I really like this game. Again, it is $2.99 or $3.99 um, available for iOS. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cup Quick. I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace. Chapter One, Awakening. All right, here we go. Please swipe. Start simulation, okay. Radio. Northwest guest room. She had never played with dolls, yet it was the first thing on Anna's mind when she came to. A rather unpleasant doll, too. A strange thing to have one onto herself, and gritted her teeth. Through a small window, she could tell that she was rather high up. As she tried to focus, she could make out a lighthouse in the distance. Anna wasn't in the city that was much clear. Or that much was clear. I need a smoke. She reached inside her coat pocket. Her cigarette package was empty. This was turning out to be a very bad morning indeed. One's mind. She got to her feet slowly. Thousands of nails seemed to pierce her head and her right ear itched terribly. Where in the world am I? This was certainly not the room she rented from Mrs. Muscat. For one thing, this room was cylindrical. A tower? I don't know how... Oh, I don't know any people living in towers, nor do I care to Anna Mumble. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Cupquake, and today we're going to be checking out an app game called Device 6. This is available on iOS, and it is $3.99 and it got amazing reviews, so I really wanted to check it out. This game is only playable with sound switched on. Before playing, please read the software license agreement and the device for manual for important information about electromagnetic magnetic waves. Well, I'm not doing any of that. We have identified you as player 249. I don't know if I should... I think this one you do have to rotate. Device. Six. All right. 